Yo, how's it going everybody? Welcome to today's video. We have got some BFB Coliseum uh, free power-ups today, not boost only. So hopefully we can get some good games in. And I actually have a strategy that I want to try out. I'm not expecting any good results, but it is going to be fun nonetheless. So we're against our first opponent here, King Toby. All right. And we're playing on not Water Hazard. I would need to check this guy out. Let's look at his record. Global rank 53. Okay, we're against a grinder here. Which means I want to change this to Super Eco Boost. And the strategy I actually want to be trying out here is we're going to go with the Engineer and the Spike Factory and the Glue Gunner. Where's the Glue Gunner? There we go. And the Spike Factory. This is not really a good strategy. It's kind of like a meme strategy. But I want to try it out uh, regardless because I want to see if we can, <laughs> we can like, make it work. Um... Mostly because this is not like really a traditional strategy. Like NG spec farm is a strategy, but instead of that, we're going with uh, like the glue gunner. So yeah, um, what do we want up first? I think we want to place this here, like in the back, since you know, since we're ecoing. And of course, I do want to go for uh, sentry guns first, and probably a nine inch nail here instead of the faster one. I think this is gonna be the play. Yeah, because I assume we're both gonna be ecoing. I don't know about him. He might not be. He goes for attack shooter right away, which is interesting. He's not ecoing either. What is he doing? Okay, so he's only going for attack shooter. That's interesting. I did not expect that. All right, so what we want to do here is just continue on ecoing. I think I might go for faster engineering right now. There we go. And before I get anything else up, I'll probably go for the 2-3, so larger serv uh, service area, and then I'll go for the sprockets. Um, uh, but I'm not going to do that until... Let me see. I think until green balloons. So we don't need to worry about it quite yet. Anyway, uh, round five is the first super eco boost round that we want to use. He's not ecoing. He's not doing anything. Like, I'm so surprised. This guy's grinding, yet he's not doing anything. He's like rank 50 globally, but he's not sending any eco. Okay, now he finally started farming. That is so late, though. Like, why would you start farming so late? What is he actually doing here? Okay, so we just want to continue on ecoing. Our eco is going to be quite good. And then, of course, we will have the uh, the balloon trap up at the top here, um, which is going to be good. So, yeah. He, he's not sending anything quite yet. So, so far, I'd say we're, uh, we're we're safe to just continue on greeting, basically. He goes for a second tag shooter. It's, it's almost like he's scared that I have, I don't know, like, salted wounds. But he knows I have super eco boost. Round 7, of course, we have to use another one, but I don't know what, what he would be scared of, though. It doesn't make much sense. And, of course, uh, we do have, like, lightning, so we don't actually need to worry much round 10, and uh, so on. So we can be, uh, we can be chilling quite a bit. But, of course, we do want to go for our uh, balloon trap first, which we can do shortly. I'm going to go for 650 eco, and I might go for 750 on round 10. I don't want to go for it quite yet, but I do want to start getting up my balloon trap now. There we go. And then we just want to upgrade this to the left side. And if he sends me anything, I will just... Uh, th th then I'm just going to be using um, my... Uh, this thing, my lightning. Alright. And we do, of course, want to send him some lets as well. Oh, he goes for wizard. Interesting. Why would you go whiz tack on this map? His farms are so bad. He only has one farm. And he has, like, no eco. Anyway, I can sell this for 1400 so I need like two more eco boosts. Oh shoot, I forgot the I forgot the super eco boost here. There we go. Alright, let's sell this and then let's go for this bad boy here. And I don't know if he's gonna rush me or what he's gonna do. Hopefully not. I'm gonna place this down in advance though. So let's just get this going now. Just in case of camo balloons. But of course we have lightnings and we have damage boosts. He might just rush me though. Like I don't know if he'll rush me. Alright, let's damage boost this. Please don't die. Oh, he uses knockout. Yo, I'm good. I'm good. Let's go. Bro. Alright, I'm I'm chilling. I'm chilling. I'm chilling. Holy shit. Okay, we're we're okay. Bro, he, he knocked out the wrong tower, dude. We almost died there. We almost died. Alright, I quickly gotta get this thing going. He just rushed me with everything he had. What the hell was that? All right, let's use this. And let's use another lightning here. And we defend everything. 
He knocks me out again. I think we just won this game, GG. Yo, that was hella clutch. I feel like he misplayed that a lot. Oh, he DC'd, bro. He actually DC'd. Look at that. Yeah. Dude, he is so mad. Holy shit. We actually made somebody rage quit with DCing just because they're mad that... <laughs> what the heck is this guy doing? He's like rank 50. Like global rank 50, bro. Why would you be playing such weird strategies and just hoping that this would work? Come on, buddy. Alright, here we go. I'm sad we didn't get to use the glue, unfortunately. I was like kind of hoping for it. But, bro, this is just sad, man. Global rank 53 and you just... It, this is kind of what grinders, uh, <laughs> where grinding gets you. Okay, next opponent here. We're against Who Goes There. What an interesting name. Let's check this guy's strat out. Or not strat, sorry. His ranks, his uh, badges. Damn, okay, so this is basically a grinder. We don't know how good he is because he, he only has a 65% win record. But he is a grinder, though, after all. Industrial Zone, we definitely do want to skip Industrial Zone. Okay, he, he just disconnected. What? Bro, all right, free win, thanks. Okay, we're against this Tony person here. Tony CD for the best. Uh, okay, Global, he has a win percentage of 52, Global Ring 94, so he's like kind of grinding in Black Arrow right now. Let's say hi, and uh, let's see what he wants to do here. I don't know if I want to play the same strategy again. I don't know how good it would really work on Super Monkey Lane, so I'm going to be skipping Super Monkey Lane. Inkplot, oh, please don't, man. That's that's going to be That's going to be painful. Eek. Okay, thank god he skips it. Snowfall. Ooh, Snowfall's actually fine with me. However, we cannot go the same strategy again. This strat does not work uh, that well on Snowfall. At least the Engineer does not. There's so many things we can do here. I'm probably gonna be more keen to play Dart Farm Ace here, if I'm being honest. I don't know if I want to play with the Super Eco Boost or if I want to play with... Or maybe Dual Eco Boost, honestly. That lasts for three rounds, so... That, that could be a thing. Yeah, let's play with Super Eco or a Dual Eco Boost. Of course, you could also Eco here. Like, I think Ecoing could be a strategy, but yeah. Um, okay, so he's farming as well. All right, so we're both going to be farming. I think I'll go for this here and this here. Now we have these two. That's going to help out a lot. And of course, we want to go for the farm first. I hope he doesn't have Salted Wounds. There's a possibility, but I doubt it. If he does, of course, we'll just use the Lightning right away. Uh, does not look like it. Alright, so we just want to start sending stuff immediately. I shouldn't have sent a 255. I should have sent a 253 first, but... Oh, well. We're fine. Alright, and do Liku Boost. I'm thinking of just using the first one round 4, then round 7, and then again round 10. Like, that. that's like my plan here. Oh, he goes for that. Interesting. Alright. Wait, maybe I can use it round 3. I don't know if this is bad, but I want to use it early on. Because the earlier, the better, I think. Also, I'm going to place this too close. I might need to get up another one here for round 4. But hopefully, I should be able to uh, quickly get up this right here. So, he goes for that. Okay, wait. He's going to be struggling a lot to pinks here. Can we afford that? Oh, we can just send him one pink. Let's go. Alright, let's send a couple more pinks. Is he going to be good with the ninja? I actually think so. Let's send some more. His strategy is not the greatest, I don't think, but let's place down the Dart Monkey here just so we're safe. And our farms are looking good, and round 6, I think, we can use another uh, Dual Eco Boost. So right now, I just want to continue on farming, to be honest. He uses a Dual Eco Boost on round 5, alright, I'll just keep on sending him some more pinks uh, while I'm, I continue to farm. Here we go. Let's go for more bananas, and... Let's upgrade this. I think this trip dart here on close should do good. And then, of course, we have this to, like, kind of help clean up a little bit in the end here. Yeah, that, that should be fine. All right. Now we just want to send a bunch of black balloons. And let's see how we defend. Oh, round six. Dual eco boost. I was a little late there, but I want to get it in on time. I don't want to wait a, a whole other round. So now I just want to send him a bunch of black balloons. He uses a lightning. Okay, that's his first one, which means he has two left. So I just want to keep on sending these. They're also just giving me passive eco. Which is great. So if we can just get him to use all his, uh, like, uh, basically use all his lightnings, that would be nice. Alright, so let's go for another farm. And upgrade it to a 1-0. There we go. 
and we use this on round 6, which means round 9 we can use another dual eco boost. Now he's actually starting to leak a bit, he might need to use another lightning here. I could imagine, at least. We're definitely gonna- okay, so he's gonna go ninja mortar, I'm- I can be quite aggressive against ninja mortar, actually. Which is really good. And round 9 we just wanna use our last dual eco boost. So we're gonna- we're gonna be getting there soon. Right now my farms are quite amazing, to be honest. Just look at this, this is this is great. Alright, round 9, come on. There we go, let's use a dual eco boost. Get as much money as possible, and I can go for one more plantation here. There we go, and I'm gonna go for the trip. I'll target both of these two first, just so I'm safe. And then I'll go for my jug here. Now he starts sending pings, interesting. That's a very weird, uh, weird time to start rushing me. Alright, I'm gonna go for this here, just keep this to last, and then I'm gonna rush him a lot. I'm gonna send a big round 11 rush, hopefully, if I can get away with it. He's probably gonna just use end up using a lightning here, which is fine. My eco now is looking, looking solid, and this is his, is this his third lightning, or his second, I'm not sure. Could, could be either one, to be honest, but I think round 12 here will go for, uh, will go for this. There we go, round 12 BIA up. Let's go. I think he's surprised. Yeah, I don't really want to send him anything yet. I don't know. Actually, maybe. But let's see if we can send him a big, uh, a big amount of things here. This is also basically just free eco. And if we can get rid of his last lightning here, that would be nice. Unless he just dies to this, that's a possibility. Okay, so he does just in the last second use his uh, final lightning. Fair enough. I think round 15 I want to send him a big region rush. Because I know he has no more lightnings left. So, uh, yeah, I want to save up for that. And of course, I if he sends me anything, I gotta be able to defend. I don't know if he'll, uh, if, if he'll actually, uh... Oh, okay, wait, he goes for a BI of his own. Alright, there he goes, he got it up in time. Alright, let's start, uh, with sending these. There we go, and now I want to send some of these up behind, followed by these. Followed by a lot of these, so we're sending a really, really big rush here. Even with damage boost, is he gonna be fine? Oh, even with damage boost, he still leaked, bro. God damn. Alright, that's that's crazy. Alright, I'm gonna go for one more trip here. Just to make sure we don't uh, accidentally leak too much from all this AI balloons. There we go. Does he still have damage boost left? I can probably... As long as I can get rid of all his damage boost, I should be fine. He's down one, which is like really good for me. I'm gonna wait till round 18, then I'm gonna sell, or I'm gonna kinda, uh, collect this, and then I'm gonna upgrade. I do wanna rush him though, I don't know if I wanna rush him quite yet. Alright, actually, yeah, let's do it. Let's go for it, let's collect this. Go to the factory. And send him a really big rush here. Hopefully this can force another damage boost. Alright, I'm just gonna damage boost myself as well. And I'm gonna continue on sending him stuff. Alright, let's lightning just in case. We probably didn't need lightning here, but just in case. Alright, we forced one more damage boost. Let's go. Is he gonna be dead to this? Oh, he died! Let's go! Okay, we take the dub. Alright, my plan was definitely to send him a BFB as well, followed by a bunch of uh, camo lets as well, or region lets as well. Because the more stuff we could send him and the more aggressive we could be, the better. And if he has no damage boost left, then he's gonna struggle a lot, especially to like... BFB, CMGs, and especially round 32, he's just gonna struggle a lot. Because he has no boost, and his strategy really, really relies on boost. Anyway, let's keep going. Yo, we're against the same guy again. Tony, CD for the best. Global rank 94 still. Alright, let's say Eek again. What do you? How do you want to play this, Tony? What, what, what are we looking for here? Let's, uh, let's do this. There we go. And uh, let's say hi. We definitely want to skip Glacier Melt, both of us. Right, let's just say good luck. See if he skips. Okay. I don't think he will, so I'm going to have to. Unfortunately. Yellow Brick Road. Alright. I'm good with Yellow Brick Road. I definitely think we want to play Engineer and Spike Factory. And we want to play with the Glue Gunner again. So, yeah, let's go for it. And, of course, we want a super eco boost here. I hope he's not planning on being too aggressive, because I actually think I may be able to go late game with this loadout. Like, I'm going to be trying my best. So, yeah, let's go for it. 
Uh, I think I want to... I don't know where I want to place my engineer. I don't want to be anti-stalling. Honestly, that's like the only thing I don't want to do. So I think I'll actually like place it down here or something. Oh, but he's going to be anti-stalling the entire game. You know what? I'll just place it down here uh, anyway. I'm going to go for 9-inch nail and the 1-1. One, one. There we go. If he anti-stalls the beginning here, that's actually fine. But he does and he lets the game run out. Rip. Alright, that was a well played part on his or well played on his part. I'm gonna put this to last now. And he's gonna be sending me a little bit of stuff there. I don't really mind because we can easily defend this. And I'm just gonna keep it to last for now. And I'll probably upgrade to a sprocket at some point. I think. But for now, I can go for fast engineering as well. He's gonna do Liku Boost. Is he gonna be really aggressive? He might actually. Like, since he has Dartling Gunner, he probably is planning on playing some really aggressive strategy. I hope he doesn't, but let's see if we can, uh, we can still end up winning here. So let's go for faster engineering, just so we're safe. And round number four, I want to use my first Super Eco Boost. I'm going to use it, like, round four, six, and eight, I think. There we go. So round four is the first one, and then we are going to use it again round six. And then probably round eight. Alright, so let's just continue on Eco now. But I'm, I'm scared he'll he'll go, like, some annoying strategy where he's just all, all out to me. Uh, round 13. Like, I'm, I'm hoping he won't, but, you know, there's a possibility that he might. And, you know, that's no good. But, yeah. As long as we don't over-eco. I feel like we kind of over-ecoed a little bit in the first game. Actually, you know what? I'm going to use the Super Eco Boost here in round 5 instead. And then I'm going to use it round 7. So, 4, 5, and 7, I think, are going to be uh, are gonna be the best rounds, probably. That way we also get the eco a little bit earlier, which is, you know, of course has its uh, has its benefits. Alright, round number six, coming in strong. Switch over to our green balloons here, and just continue. Alright, he duly eco boosts again. And he goes for another dartling, fair enough. Nothing much to be said about that. Oh, unless, is he actually, this is where it would be good to have team towers done. Or like s something like that. Alright, round seven, let's super eco boost here. And then just continue. I think we'll probably go for 700 eco ish. Maybe 720. Because we do want to go for quite a high eco. Like, we kind of need that. Uh, because we're not, after, we're, like, we're not going to be able to eco for a couple rounds. So, you know what? Let's go for 730 eco and let's call it a day here. And I think I might want to go for the sprockets here in case he uh, tries to send me any yellows. Don't think he actually will, because hey, we, we still have lightning, so... Like, we're good. Alright, so he's still anti-stalling, which is, like, really annoying me. But I'm gonna need to uh, get up my engineer here soon. And I think we can sell this for 1.5k. Okay, good. Which means I'm gonna need, like, 2.3k. So, actually, like, one more eco boost. I think if my math is not wrong. Yep, now we can go for the balloon trap. And, of course, I do want to sell all my sentries, uh, just in case... And I'm going to be placing this right here in the back. And now we're just going to get ready. Uh, Alright, so I'm going to send him one lead, just so we force some uh, lead detection. He might go for BIA, I don't know if he's planning on going late here. I don't think he is, but, you know, there's a chance. Oh, he actually has glue gunner. Wait, he might be planning to go late here, actually. Alright, I'm going to go for even faster production here. I'm going to sell all of these. And we're, of course, going to make sure everything's fine. He goes for another dual eco boost. He goes for it really late. And that's not good if he wants to go for BIA. Alright, so I'm going to send him a little bit of stuff here. He's not rushing me. He's not all outing me or anything quite yet. So I think I can actually get away with ecoing a bit more here. Which is good for me. Alright, here we go. We're chilling. He upgrades his glue. Fair enough. Alright, and we of course also have Clue, but he does not know this. So I think we can probably do pretty well going late with the strategy. We're at least going to be trying our best, so I'm going to continue on selling my sentries here. And I now have a thousand eco, which is just, uh, <laughs> just beautiful actually. Oh, now he's starting to rush, alright. Are we going to be good here? Hopefully. Bro, he's sending a big rush here. What the hell? Alright, we, we defended, we defended. Let's go. It wasn't too it wasn't too bad. We defended still. I'm probably gonna be going for a second balloon trap though. Just because we don't have that much money right now. So we do need to be careful of that. 
Also, in case of another rush just like that, that's why we want a second balloon trap. So, there we go. We got it. He goes for around 17 BIA, dude. That is way too late. Yeah, that is unlucky, bro. That is really unlucky. All right, now we just want to basically max eco to the best of our ability. I think we should probably easily be able to deal with um, a Moab. Like, hopefully. And a BFB, I also think we should be fine against it. As long as we have a really good eco, which it looks like we have got going right now. But he might send me a Moab here soon. I think. I don't like how much the Balloon Trap has actually been nerfed. Because we're barely getting any money from it. Like, it used to be so OP. It actually used, like, NFE used to be the meta, like, a year ago. And now it's just nobody plays it anymore because it got completely destroyed by NK. Alright, let's continue. There we go. I can go for, like, 20 more eco, I think. There we go. I also do want to be careful in case of, like, in case he sends me a BFB or anything like that on, uh, on, on the next round. I'm gonna go for this here just so like I'm ready for it and I can go for a balloon dissolver And of course, uh, I'm gonna go for this down here that we want to upgrade to the right side I'm not expecting a BFB quite yet, but he might send one like you never know, but it looks like he's actually planning on going late Okay, he does send a BFB so I want to wait a little bit. I gotta wait a couple more seconds then I can upgrade my glue gunner to uh to the balloon dissolver that's gonna do a bit extra damage to it which is gonna be nice and then like uh, once i have the money for it i can use the uh the ability here so there we go gotta keep on selling these oh i accidentally sold it i didn't really mean to do that and i do want to get a couple of ngs down here just to be uh be a little bit extra safe so as soon as this is popped i think there we go now in a little bit i think we'll go for this I actually don't even think we need to go for the NGs down at the bottom. No, we don't. Okay. So we're actually going to be more than fine here. So I'll take that. Let's sell all of these and let's just continue on ecoing now. Now we just want to focus on max eco, basically. I'm going to go for one more balloon trap here. Just so we have three. And now we can continue on max ecoing. And these three should be fine. And the NG or the uh, glue gunner is just out of range. Which is uh, exactly what we want. So, now I'm just going to be focused on ecoing, mostly. And I think we're probably going to go a little bit late to, like, round 32 or something. And we'll, we'll see how he defends space CMGs. Uh, and that's probably when I'm going to be rushing. I don't know quite yet. But, yeah. Oh, dude, he might actually struggle to this. I'm going to send a bunch of these up behind and then follow up with some pinks. Let's see if he, uh, if he defends just nicely. Okay, so you wait. Oh, he just used the glue gunner ability. Fair enough. To make sure he didn't die uh, from everything. Alright, my eco is looking quite fine right now. So I'm, pr I'm hoping that I can get maybe like 5 or 6k eco if I'm lucky. Uh, that's at least my plan. And then of course we do want to... Actually, like I'm not really happy with all of these sentries right now. They're kind of getting in the way. But we can't like continuously sell them because that's going to be... Like, very, very repetitive. Right, here we go. And looks like we're fine. Nice. Round 30 or round 25, we're also going to get a lot of balloon trap money, which is going to be extra helpful. But all the sentries are becoming starting to become, like, really annoying. So, yeah. We just want to continue on ecoing for now. He's still not sending anything. He's just, he's legit just going. Is he going for another BIA? Like, what is he doing up at the top there? He's doing something. Alright, I'm gonna go for a spike mines down at the bottom here. I don't know why he's sending so many, like, camo region rats. I think he's just trolling around, but we're still gonna have the spike mines ready, just in case. And, oh, is he good? Okay, looks like he's, uh, he's fine. Just gonna collect that real quick. He goes for one more BIA, that's so weird. Why would you go for the factory and then a BIA? Like, the earlier you have the BIAs, like, the better. There we go. Oh, he, is he dead? Yo, he died! Bro, he died to round 25. He legit just teased me by sending camo region rats, and now he died to round 25 AI. Yo, let's go. He's so mad. He is so mad he left. Bro. <laughs> oh my god. Wow. All right. That was fun. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. I love you all. Uh, subscribe and all that good stuff, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace out. Yeah.
Life can be super happy, life can be super sad. I'm trying super hard to separate the good and bad. I go back to my future just to get to my past. But knowing me, my DeLorean will probably crash. Sometimes I get in a taxi when I ain't got no cash. Worry if my credit card don't work, then I might have to dash.